Now that we've covered C++20's modules and concepts, let's move on to the third major feature, ranges. This is the feature that modernizes how we actually work with data and algorithms in the standard library. For decades the standard template library has been powerful but verbose. If you wanted to filter a vector and then transform the results, you had to write sometimes brain numbing nested function calls, or manage temporary containers, or deal with begin and end iterator pairs everywhere. It was efficient, but it was ugly to read and difficult to write. C20's ranges changes this by introducing two key concepts ranges and views. A range is simply anything you can iterate over, so you no longer need to pass the begin and the end iterator pairs to sort a list. You just pass the vector itself. But what may be even more influential is views. A view is a lightweight wrapper that doesn't own the data. It simply looks at the data. And because they are lightweight, they are composed lazily. Let's look at a classic data processing pipeline. Suppose we have a list of numbers. We want to filter out the odd numbers, square the remaining even numbers, and then reverse the final list. In C20, we use the pipe syntax, similar to the command line. Look at how readable that is. We take numbers, pipe it into a filter, pipe that into a transform, and pipe that into a reverse. This reads exactly like the problem statement. Filter, then square, then reverse. But here is the kicker. This uses lazy evaluation. When we define results, nothing actually happens yet. No memory is allocated for a new vector. The calculation is only performed continuously as we iterate through the loop at the bottom. This is highly efficient because it combines all those operations into a single loop. We only have to walk through the list once rather than looping three separate times. Because you treat the container as one whole unit, you don't have to manually manage begin and end iterators. This effectively kills off those annoying off by one errors where you accidentally point to the wrong memory. You can mix and match these commands easily. You can take the first few elements or drop the last ones without any performance penalty. That's because no data is actually being moved around. It's a massive improvement over the old, verbal syntax. 